What's going on guys? Um, I know a lot of you have been asking. This will be a video of what's my plan for 2020 with all the cars that I own. Subaru, truck, BMW, Honda Ruckus. So first off, I'm going to leave inside, go outside with Subaru and tell you what the plan is with that car. <laughs> So this here behind me is the 2014 Subaru WRX Hatch, also known as Macaw. Most of you may or may not know that, probably don't know that, M-A-K-A. Stupid for my car, basically. Entirely STI swap brakes, which you guys, STI brakes, Geodis two-piece rotors, STI transmission, so it's a six-speed built block. All those goodies. Uh, everything on this car has to be touched. Fuel system, transmission, motor, everything has been touched. Right now I'm actually, I've washed the interior trim pieces well because maybe one day I'll be putting this car back to stock form or as much stock form as I can and selling it that's the plan for this car is see how 2020 goes track day wise and if it doesn't hold up really don't really want to kind of keep rebuilding this car so part it out sell as is and possibly trade in for an E46 M3 or E36 M3 and track one of those really don't want that to happen but I just want to have a track car I can keep tracking and not be down all the time. But speaking of not be down all the time, because the state ref issue is such a big deal, I will be removing the wrap after my court case on February 20th of probably like 8 a.m. is usually when it's at. So after February 20th, I will know if my car passed or did not pass hiring the attorney but yeah this is the car 2014 hatch uh, it's making 450 wheel horsepower at 22 pounds of boost so very conservative on a gtx 3071r turbo definitely could be making more power but it's a stock case and don't want to push too much power on a stock case but it's forged internals everything you guys may remember i had the sleeve block which made 500 wheel horsepower on an FP green, but we did no oiling. So on track, I starved the mode of oil and kaboom. But now we have that little goodie, which is the Killer B um, oil control valve, bigger oil pan, pickup tube, baffles, and everything I need. So yeah, that's mainly what's up with this car. And I think now we'll move on to the truck, BMW, and Honda Ruckus. So this here is my 1963 Ford F100. Currently in the market we are changing out the head unit and pump the gas a couple times, crank it over. Currently, don't really have any modifications. I really want to get this thing repainted, but nowhere uh, really takes that unless it's through insurance money, which is kind of lame. But car or truck runs well, knock on wood. And mainly I just want to get it repainted. I think it's time that I really get serious. Yeah. Leaving all you haters looking stuck and, and delirious. I'm about to win the game like Dak Prescott. Yeah. But I'm not on the foot. This here is probably my least favorite car. My 1999 323i BMW. And actually, as of today, Rodell might be buying this car. 
but I picked it up off a coworker for a super cheap. Upgraded some things like the power steering pump, Vanos line, just to make it more reliable. Brand new rear tires. Um, but yeah, I mean, not much to see here because basically I'm selling it.